Hi, Casey here from Gator. Today we're going to talk about installing your guitar on the wall using Gator's Frameworks guitar hanger. Although the tips and tricks that we discussed today you could apply to any other guitar hanger on the market. Uh, we'll cover best practices for installing into drywall, into a wooden stud, uh, or a masonry or concrete application. Today we'll be using a tape measure, an electric stud finder, a set of masonry drill bits, an 18 volt cordless hammer drill, 12 volt cordless standard portable drill, a set of standard wood drill bits, a Phillips head screwdriver, and your wall anchors and mounting hardware. I recommend using an electronic stud finder to determine what type of drill bit and mounting hardware you'll want to use. In this example, we're going to center our location on the wooden stud in the wall. So as your next step, uh, you can use the provided foam template to mark your hole locations. Since this is a wood installation into a stud, we'll compare the wood drill bit against the screw to make sure the threads are visible and we end up with a perfectly sized pilot hole. With the correct sized pilot hole drill bit installed, we'll drill through the drywall and directly into the stud for mounting our guitar hanger. Next step, you'll put the steel mounting plate on the foam pad and screw through that directly into the stud. Note that no anchors are required. This will just use the, the provided screws directly into the wood stud. Once the mounting plate is securely attached to the wall, simply place the cover plate over the mounting plate and then use the guitar yoke and standoff to finish the installation. You'll want to screw it in tight, but not over tight. When a little bit of resistance is felt, you can stop. So for a drywall installation, we'll be using a wall anchor. Be sure to size your drywall bit appropriate to the anchor size. Once holes are drilled in the wall, you'll use the Phillips head screwdriver to gently install the plastic wall anchors into the drywall. With anchors in, then you can fit the foam pad, steel mounting plate, and screw that in place. And similar to the earlier installation, the decorative cover plate, standoff, and guitar yoke will be used to finish the installation, tightening it until there's just a little bit of flexibility. Uh, that will allow the yoke to rotate based on the shape of the guitar headstock. All right, guys, thanks for watching our video. I hope you found this really helpful and uh, you're ready to go hang some guitars on your wall.